All right, in this demonstration, I want to show you how you can connect two different devices together um, using a website that's called snapdrop.net. Again, that's snapdrop.net. Um, on the left, you're going to see an Android phone. It's a Samsung Gal Galaxy S6. Um, so different Androids are going to have you know, different kinds of software. But the thing that's nice about this is you don't have to download something that might work on some phones and might not work on others. I mean, I guess technically this might not work on your phone, but I've had pretty good success with it uh, among different devices. So um, it's an option that you can try. And the thing that's nice is that you don't have to download and install software. Um, you know, so if you want to transfer something even to like to a lab computer, you can do that. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to open Firefox on my Android phone, which is on the left, and I'm going to go to the snapdrop.net website. And what you're going to see now that uh, on my right side you see is my uh, Mac laptop, and you see now that they're both connecting and that's because they're on the same network you have to have them on the same wireless network there are other things that you can use say to connect a, an Android phone to a Mac or to Windows computer but um, sometimes uh, you have to have um, actually you know like a cable or something to do it and it can be really fussy and sometimes other software I found is not always effective and sometimes you don't have installation rights on different computers so I'm going to show you a way that you could get some stuff maybe that you shot with your phone off of your phone and onto another computer and the reason I'm using Android to Mac is to me those seem like the two most incompatible operating systems so what I'm going to do is you see first of all that it's that it just is, says Mac Chrome on the left because it's looking at my Macintosh computer and it's the Chrome operating system that's running on the Mac. Well, over here it says Android Firefox because I'm running Firefox on Android. And one of the things that I did notice is that if I ran Chrome on my Android and tried to do this, it would crash with large videos. So I downloaded Firefox onto my phone and it seemed to work just fine with all sorts of file types. So the problem potentially is if you had multiple people on the same network all trying to use this um, this uh, website at the same time, maybe there are a bunch of people who are trying to transfer to the same computer as a group. Well, the problem is that it's just going to say the OS and the browser that's using, right? So what you would want to do is you would want to go and name your device. And so I'll say, for instance, Lee's, or I'll just say Lee MBP for MacBook Pro. I'll rename that and I can also go over here on this and I can name my device and it takes a second sometimes for this to pop up on my mobile um, browser so just give it a second and then I'll name this uh, I'll call it Lee uh, Android phone okay so it, it, it didn't allow me to keep typing so it has a limitation on characters I'll click on rename so it says Lee Android Fawn, all right? <laughs> but I get the idea, all right? So now I can see exactly who I'm gonna transfer stuff to, which is kind of nice. So anyway, um, what I can do now on my phone is I can see that I'm gonna transfer to Lee MVP. So I'm gonna click on that. It looks like it's kind of wigging out just a little bit. Okay, and actually I don't mind whenever I have sort of technical problems like this because then you get to see how I would deal with it. So if I, if, see it won't let me click it because it's still kind of stuck. I'm going to hit the back button on my phone and now I'm going to go back to Snapdrop again and you'll see that it disappeared off of my laptop on the right, but it should show back up and um, we'll see. Yeah, and see now it remembers the name because it's, uh, what it does when you name it is it stores it as a cookie in your browser cache. And so if you decide you need to clear that later, you'll have to go and clear your cookies. But anyway, the thing is it did keep it. I just had to hit my back button on my phone and then go back to the snapdrop.net website. And so now you can see that they're both showing up properly. So on my phone on the left, I'm going to go ahead and click on Lee MBP because I want to transfer files. And you'll see down here, You've got camcorder, so if I wanted to record something, I could record something and immediately send it as a video, or my camera, I could take a photograph and immediately send it, or you can also go to your documents, and 
it'll take you to wherever you were last looking in terms of like recent or whatever. And I could pick something from this list, but if I click the hamburger menu in the top left, you could also, this is nice, you can also go through and look through images and it'll find images in all the different places in your video, or in your phone, videos, audio files. You can go to your downloads folder. You can also look through if you, you know, like if you have Google Drive, which is great, you can look through Google Drive and share stuff and so on and so on. You can see that it also has like OneDrive and then you can look through your Google Photos, which is different than Google Drive specifically. Anyway, but I'll just, I'll stick with recent and uh, what I can do is go down here and I can just find a picture that I'd want to transfer and uh, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll transfer a screenshot that I took earlier and you'll see how it behaves. All right, and so my, my uh, computer is asking me, do I want to download this? I'll say yes. And then it takes a second. And then what it does is uh, it pops up here. Let's do this. And um, it, it's going to ask me what I want to name it. And I can go ahead and name it whatever I want. So I'll just call it screen shot or something like that. OK. And uh, I'll go ahead and click Save. All right. And it downloaded it. And if I wanted to take a peek at, at this now, I can click on it. And you can see it right here. OK, and so there, I, I just grabbed a picture file. You can also do this with videos as well. OK, so um, yeah, that's uh, the end of this demo. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. But um, it's pretty straightforward. And you can do this on the lab computers as well.